have run into Bob the Builder's cousin. Hockey fans on Facebook, Twitter, and other bands. My name is Jed Lockett. Behind me is Hera Arena. And tonight, the Port Huron Prowlers are in town to take on the Dayton Demolition. This is the official season premiere of Diary of a Hockey Superfan, and I am looking very much forward to the months ahead. This will be a lot of fun. I plan to do a lot of traveling this season, see a bunch of different teams, have a bunch of different experiences, and put a bit more of the focus on the hockey experience than it was last season. It is good to be back here in Hera Arena for some hockey. What has changed? Well, obviously it's a new team, so a new logo at Center Ice, a new set of jerseys, a new set of players, a new franchise, a new team mascot, a lot of newness here with the demolition. Fortunately, they still have that wonderful homemade chili to help you get warmed up. A quick walk around the concourse of Hera Arena reveals really not much has changed since the Demons finale last season. Seats are still the same. Concourse here is still the same. Here we have a character artist. Here we have a face painter. Chuck a puck right here. Take a walk inside the team store, which is very small. This is the second game in a row I've been to some place where they didn't have replica jerseys on sale. I know we've been in a reception lately, but come on. For those of you that like fresh baked pizza, still here, still got it, still looking good. In essence, a lot of the changes are only cosmetic ones. It'll be when the team gets out on the ice that we'll see just how far the changes do extend. I thought there would be a little more pomp and circumstance prior to tonight's game. They did introduce all the players, and they did have the national anthem by former American Idol contestant Alexis Gomez. But that was pretty much it. It's a very, very interesting color scheme choice for the demolition uniforms. Gray jerseys with bright yellow numbers, red outlines. I gotta say, I really love them. One of the things I really enjoyed most about the Demons was the community feel that the team had behind it. With this, I don't know that it's there yet. It's just the first game after all. But hopefully, that is something that will come with time. Hera Arena tonight is about as full for this as it was for any of the Demons games that I've attended. Another good save.
More stuff like that, and this team will have a community following soon enough. With the Demons last season, they were doing all kinds of things in between the games. Firehouse subs, giveaway. There's been none of that so far. In one sense, it's refreshing. It's nice to be able to watch a game and just have a game to watch. But in another sense, it's troubling. There's not necessarily added value for casual fans. And a lot of those giveaways and things are sponsored. I'll have to wait and see. One period is in the books. Dayton leads one to nothing. 17-28 in the second period. Port Huron just scored. It's 1-1 now. I see all these young men skating and just marvel at it, especially after I took my first ice skating lesson last night. Fell six times. And my butt is still sore from it. But I am going back. A few things to know about ice skating if you go try it. You will fall. It will be spectacular. And it will hurt. I would like to take up hockey eventually. And would love to do some interesting stuff on YouTube on ice skates. There aren't any really big YouTube ice skaters, are there? Maybe I have to break some ground, you know? Gotta fight, gotta fight, gotta fight! That was 12 before it really got started. There was a fight there. here. 
here. My songs know what you did in the dark. Great choice. I'm glad they didn't go with rock and roll part two. That is the most overused song in sports by far. If my life could have a goal song, Chelsea Dagger. No question. FHL overtime apparently is going to be a three on three, five minute period. This should be really interesting. Oh, we got a penalty shot with 146 to go in overtime. with the final score, Port Huron 4, Dayton 3. What you gonna do? Ladies and gentlemen, next Friday, November 13th, I plan to be at the facility formerly known as the Riverfront Coliseum for the Teddy Bear Toss, the first stop in the 2015-2016 Teddy Bear Tour. I can't wait. It'll be the first of at least four this season and I will let you know when the others will be next week. So, I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, please body check that like button and hit subscribe as well. Woo! <laughs> Until next time, in the immortal words of Red Green, keep your stick on the ice.